Hello family and welcome back to another plan with me. I'm super excited to walk you through how I plan out my week. First, I always like to get started with spending some time with Jesus. This particular day, I was taking a prayer walk. I think it's important to switch up your routine and sometimes I have trouble focusing and so I like to just get outside and reset. Now, I always believe in just setting the mood when I am planning. I believe that planning is self-care, and so I'm taking the time to set my candles. I have two of them now. Actually, I just redid my office, and so I'm super excited to just have like a better looking space to work in. Now I'm gonna get started with one of my favorite pens and my planning notebook. So this is where I do a lot of my empty out sessions. And an empty out session is basically where I am emptying out all of the tasks and things that have been kind of stuck in my head and I'm putting them out on paper. I don't skip this process because it really helps me to remember a lot of the things that I would forget throughout the week. And it's important that you do this so that you're not carrying around a mental to-do list. That's a real sure way to forget what you're supposed to be doing. So this is what you'll see me doing in this scene and I really try to make sure that I'm not missing anything. By the way, if this is your first time watching one of my Plan With Me videos, welcome. I'm super excited to have you. My name is Kyla and I'm an execution strategist and Christian life coach. And here on YouTube, I make Christ-centered productivity content. So while I'm doing my empty out session, let's go ahead and get into the weekly recap. This is the portion where I basically tell you guys the highs and lows of last week and the strategy that I'm taking into next week. So one of the biggest highs that I got from last week was I got to rest. I am a person who is very sensitive to what my body needs and last week was kind of hard. So I really make sure to prioritize rest. And that included a lot of time sitting around doing nothing. Now, I know that may sound unproductive, but honestly, when I give my body time to refresh, it's when I feel the most creative. And for the past few weeks, I have been really consistent in my routine and everything that I've laid out to the point where I realized that consistency can be boring sometimes, and that's okay. Sometimes when I feel like I get bored, I feel like I need to completely switch everything up, but sometimes it just means that I need to rest and refresh. And I also need to get out and do some fun things so that I can spark my creativity again. So that's what I focused on last week. Another big high for last week was we finished up the fast against self-sabotage in the doers community and it was just so beautiful to see the breakthroughs that everyone has been having and really putting in the work. I believe that there's no hack to healing and if you really truly want to see results and you want to heal, then you have to focus and put in the time. You have to turn down your plate and fast until things break. And so one of my main missions as a Christian life coach and an execution strategist is to see people get out of their head and execute. And self-sabotage is definitely a weapon that the enemy uses against us to try to keep us stuck and abort things prematurely. But I am a firm believer that God's people were free and we're going to see the fruit of that over the next year. So if you're not already in the doers community, you can click the link in the description box to join. It is absolutely free and we host weekly challenges. So I think that you would really love it, especially if you're looking to grow in Christ and in consistency. Now the lows for last week were because I rested, it kind of threw me off of my routine. Like I said, I've been on my routine all year and so I've got in the habit of just doing those things consistently. So I found that sometimes when I was trying to rest, I was actually thinking about the things that I needed to do. And so that was only a low because I felt like it was a little distracting. But how I got through that was I just reminded myself of the importance of being refreshed in the presence of the Lord. Another low from last week was I was really struggling to read my Bible. I feel like I have been trying to focus on too many things at once in the scriptures and that has been leading me to feel kind of overwhelmed. And when I feel overwhelmed, I typically avoid certain things. And so it wasn't that I wasn't reading my Bible, it's just that I didn't feel like I was really going in depth the way that I wanted to. 
And so I'm looking to find a new devotional that will kind of keep me in a consistent pace and area so that way I won't be so scattered. So what I started doing last week was I started opening up the YouVersion Bible app and reading a couple plans and it was giving me great context but I really want to go deeper and get back to the place where I am really studying the word, right? Sometimes you can be spiritually snacking where you're just kind of grabbing a scripture here and there but you're not getting to the real meat of it. And for me personally, I need the scriptures. I need to understand what I'm reading. I need to feel that in-depth connection with the Lord as he's revealing things to me. I definitely think that getting one of those like meteor devotionals that helps me to dive deep and also taking the time to read additional commentary so that I'm really studying um, more in depth. So I'm looking forward to that this week and I'll definitely let you guys know how it's going next week. Now the strategy that I'm taking into next week is I'm fully back on my routine and so my routine works really well. I've been refining it all year and so it pretty much runs on autopilot as long as I show up. I've been really investing in taking care of my body so that I can show up better. So I've been working out consistently. I started taking iron supplements um, and also I've been taking zinc for a while, but I finally also got a protein powder that does not break out my skin. And so with that protein powder, it has collagen peptides and a bunch of different vitamins and amino acids. And since I've been taking that, I've been feeling so much better. Plus I've been eating cleaner, so just overall, like my health is in a much better place and I'm really starting to see the effects of that in my productivity. So we'll be keeping the same strategy for next week. Now the only thing that I'll be adding is that I plan to work outside of my home at least twice a week moving forward because when I work in the same space for a while, I can get kind of unmotivated and distracted especially living in a house with six people. So I'm definitely going to be getting to some different cafes next week. That's one of my goals. So yeah, this wraps up the weekly recap. I just want to go ahead and pray that you all have a productive week. I pray that the Lord will bless the works of your hands. I pray that you will grow deeper in intimacy with him and that he will help you to prioritize him. I also pray that you will have the peace that surpasses all understanding over you this week. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I'm going to go ahead and let the rest of the video play, and I will see you guys next week for our plan B.